two wheels, four wheels, or three wheels. We had you covered. This is Sam for BoardAtWork.com, and today we're looking at the Can-Am Spider. Hey guys, we're gonna take a look at the Can-Am starting from the rear. You, if you notice right off the uh, right off the bat that we got two sets of lights. We have the uh, in the middle right there. We have the brake lights, as you can see, very aggressive looking, and we have the left and right indicator lights now the single rear wheel as you can see is mounted on a swing arm featuring the fox racing shocks so that should give you a lot of stability as you go along this whole bike has you know racing decals as you go along as you can see the seats are pretty well comfortable with the weatherized seats with the uh, rear passenger seat behind with the uh, handle grips now you have leg rests for the front driver and the rear passenger now we're up to the front of the bike now the front of the bike is pretty unique in that y architecture gives you two wheels on the front now with the two wheels on the front you also work working with the fox shocks on there however you're working with basically um you know the, the two front wheels with the double a arm front um, system and anti-roll bar so basically it's an a arm front suspension system and anti-roll bar you can see the brp logo up in the front right there we zoom in a little bit now let's take a look at other things you find here you have vents in the front of the motorcycle this motorcycle basically has an engine in there and and, oh, just to mention, in front, right behind that BRP logo is a storage device we we'll show you later. Now, the front wheels, as you can see, now on the right side, you can see some of the reflectors on there. Gives you really high visibility as you continue to um, ride even in low light areas. The bike features a Rotan 998 powertrain, or should I say 998cc powertrain. So you basically are getting a lot of power in there. Now, this is the seat again, just showing you also the racing decals that you find in the bike. This is just a quick walkthrough on the bike, and now we're going to jump on there and show you exactly how this bike runs but first let's show you that storage unit we talked about you can put a backpack in there you can put you know devices in there you can put a helmet in there if you need to store it uh, little things little items like that now we'll close that up and let's jump on the bike all right now guys i'm going to show you the uh, onboard dash over here the onboard dash is pretty unique i'm going to turn the bike on now and you're going to see that can-am logo pop right up now the onboard dash is pretty unique but first Let's um, skip over and show you the uh, the left handlebar, which contains a lot of controls that you would use to um, navigate in this deep uh, in this um, LED um, display here. Now you have your up, down, left, right directional pad to move things around on the um, screen over there. Can't quite get you, give you a um, a clear uh, shot of both together, so we we'll just go with the up um, with the left um, controllers first. You have your mode button. And you also have your set button to make um, selections. Now, this will help you navigate through the onboard dash and that should give you a pretty good indication of how you use that. Now, you also have your light fixtures over there so you can turn or should I say your light controls over there so you can turn your lighting on and off you have your indicator lights as I showed um, right below it and uh, you have the horn right down there as long as well as your shifters on the handlebar now on the right you have the on off switch and uh, up top you have your hazard lights or, or your hazard light controls and on the bottom as you saw you have your ignition all right now that's mainly the features you find on the um, you know the left and right handlebars or the left and right bars over here now let's have a look at um, exactly how this uh, motorcycle basically you know looks and feels when you get into the dash now before you get in there you can press the ignition button you have to take a look at exactly what it says on the screen you have to read and press the mode button to go along now we're just going to scroll through a few things you have in the dash over here you have some settings you have trip settings and you just basically can go through and also get your temperature and time on there now this is an led backlit um you know uh, dashboard so you get quite a lot of information readout from that dashboard as you can see you also have you know a little indicator that you'll find in any vehicle or in most of your um, four-wheeled vehicles like uh, you know miles per gallon and things of that nature so you will get your um, fuel indicator on that dash now let's take this off for a ride okay um, we're parked on the side right now let's see if we can uh, get this started and going all right as you can see as all uh, basically as it's street legal you have your uh, rear view mirrors and we also put on there or um, can and spider also provides a front uh, windshield now we're gonna zoom off and uh, give you an idea of how these suspension works now 
take a note of here. I'm in Williamsburg and I'm about to take that turn. I'm actually kicking it up right now. And the suspension there, you can see this video, you don't have much of a shake. If you've ever driven on this particular on-ramp, you would notice that there are a few bumps. But the suspensions on here are pretty awesome. The A-arm suspension system handles itself pretty well. Um, you know, doing accel basically accelerating on this um, on this vehicle is a dream. The vehicle has, like I said, 998 cc's of horse, uh, basically um, in the powertrain. So you have about a hundred horsepower, to 7,500 RPMs to go. So just zooming on the highway, you're not going to feel intimidated like you would on a regular two-wheel bike because you can hold your own. And basically, given the width of the, you know, given the width of the motorcycle, as you can see right here, or given the width of the Can-Am, you can see that you're taking up your entire lane. So you don't have cars, which if you're a biker, you find a lot of times you don't have cars trying to share that lane with you. To me, this is a big plus now just zooming along I'm trying not to go too fast so you guys can actually get a view on the ride as you've seen um, throughout the ride you've been seeing these little potholes and patches so you know the road is not a clean um, highway or a clean expressway where I'm trying to hit as many bumps as possible to give you an idea that this is a solid a solid suspension system it's very comfortable you're sitting with your back basically straight you basically um, keeping that you know great posture when riding your motorcycle we're going through um parts of uh, brooklyn right now checking the scenery out now as you can see we're going to try to stop real soon to give you an idea of the stopping power of this the brake the anti-lock brake systems on here basically designed to um you know prevent you from locking the brakes in case of an emergency so it will pump the brakes automatically for you now let's see if we can uh, show you a little bit of how the stopping power here is so right there anti-lock brake systems comes in smooth stop just right there it's a smooth stop and that's an amazing little vehicle now once again this is sam board at work.com enjoy your entertainment